Hello everyone, this is Gail, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. Uh, again, it is not going to be a finished project as much as, well it is going to be a finished project, it's not going to be, you know, you can make it into whatever you want. But what I've decided to do, and this is a picture of a dragonfly that I made, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago. Let me, I don't want you to see the other pictures that are on here because they're ideas for future things. But this is my dragonfly that I made many years ago. And what I ended up doing, and it's just about the size of this picture, what I ended up doing was getting taking, sten uh, not stencils, but uh, letters, punch, uh, cutouts of clay, and putting it across there, and then I put a pin on the back, and that was my name tag when I went to my guild meetings. So I've had it for years. It's broken to pieces, and I've, I think I threw it away because I tried looking for it, and I couldn't find it, so I probably have gotten rid of it. So I'm going to show you how I did that, and what I'm going to do, I'm using the uh, Primo Accents Opal Clay. I don't know if they still sell that. I've never used it because I had seen so many negative comments about it, but it was usually because people wanted to sand and buff, and they couldn't do it because it had a rough finish. But I just thought it would have a really nice, and you see the sparkles in there, it's like mylar, little bits of mylar that are in there. And I also mixed some with some black. And you can see the mylar in the black better than you can this. This is pretty much translucent. Now these, um, this clay, this, uh, Oh, it's the Milo. I saw some pink and it's reflecting off my shirt. Um, I rolled this out to a number three or the third thickest setting of my pasta machine because I want this to be not real thin but fairly thin. And I cut the black, I mean I rolled the black out on the thickest setting of my pasta machine. So the first thing I want to do is to make uh, his body and that's why I'm using the black. So I'm going to cut some uh, circles, and I think I'll do three of this size. I may not use all three. Well, that one decided not to stick. And these are my um, Kemper cutters. I love these Kemper cutters, but I'm going to gradually go with smaller circles and I'm going to just just keep going I'm going to do two of each size and I'll explain in just a minute why I'm doing it that way But I figured two of each size, and I, like I said, I may not use all of them. And I'm going to cut four of these little ones. And I may not use all of those either. But there's that, and then I've got some teardrop cutters, and these are Sculpey cutters. And I just picked two sizes that I thought would look good, and I'm going to cut two of each size for my wings. Even though I'm not really ready for the wings yet, at least this way they're already cut. And let me just put a piece of plastic over that so I don't end up getting this black on it. So I'm going to take these circles and I'm going to roll them into balls. 
and they don't have to be exact you know round circles you do what you want more than anything is just the shape of a ball because you're going to kind of press them together so they're going to get misshapen and I'm going to roll them all and you'll see the balls will gradually get a little bit smaller those are those three then I've got these three or did I just do two I think I just did two of these Sorry, if you want, you know, be, feel free to fast forward through this if you don't want to watch me roll these little balls. But I'm almost done. Now, if you want to, you can um, get a wire and put all of these on a wire. But unfortunately, my wire is all packed up. So I don't have that. So I apologize. Now I'm going to move this plastic out of the way because I need to put them here on my... All right, I'm going to keep one. Actually, I might make this just a little bit bigger by adding this to it. Because I want the head to be a little bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit. So that's the biggest one, and that's going to be his head. And then I'm going to start pressing these circles one behind the other. I'm trying not to mess this one up too much. You can see what I mean when I say we're going to kind of scrunch them together because they're going to make, be, get smaller and smaller. And I like to turn it a little bit because who wants a dragonfly with a straight tail? Those two are already stuck together, so I'll just press them together a little bit more. One more little one. And then use my two little teeny tinies. So there you go. You can see see that. And this is this is going to be the head. And what I'm going to do, I think that's going to make it too big. What I'm going to do is maybe cut one of these in half. This is one of the extra little ones that I did. And I'm going to put these like antenna. Or eyes. Maybe they're eyes. But let me get him unstuck from my work surface. Now I'll place him back on the plastic. Now let's work with the with the leaves. Now these are cut a little bit thinner. Remember this is on the third thickest setting of the pasta machine.
and you can play with these a little bit. Um, with this opal clay, you're probably going to have some little pieces of mylar sticking out, so you might want to just press a little bit. I like um, I like my le my wings to be a little bit like thinner in the middle, thicker on the outside. But you see the difference in the size of these. See, this one is sort of short and squatty. And this one's a little bit longer and narrow. So I'm going to do that with both of them. Press my mylar into the clay. But it doesn't matter if you don't. And let me keep track of how thin I'm making this. And just kind of press it in the middle. And what I might, another thing that might be a good idea is take a piece of this clay and then press your wing onto that so that you have something to secure your wing. Now the other two are a little bit smaller. All I'm going to do is Press the mylar in. They might be a little bit narrower. But I'm going to do it this way. And there's the wings. And let me come back out so you can see what I'm going to be doing. So then I'm going to take my body and I'm just going to lay it over the top with the head being above the wings. Now like I said, if you wanted to, you could take a wire and go through all of this just to make sure that it doesn't break. But I'm going to trust my clay that it will stick together. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on an index card. Now, you see it's entirely different from this one. This one was done with some Magume Gane, with some metallic colors. And this is sort of a purple. And I had a per little bit of purple in there, but this was purple... I believe I used some mica powder, and I still might do that. Let me do that. You know me and my mica powder. I'm going to get out my Perfect Pearls. And let's see. I've got some mini colors in here. But I know I have an amethyst color. Is that it? need to get my book to look at my colors. Oh, my shelf is coming, not my shelf coming down, but I had something stuck up here and it doesn't want to stay. This is my little book with my perfect pearls in it. And this is number four, and I thought it was purple, but it's not. It's pewter, but I still might keep that out. Where is my purple? Maybe I don't have a purple. I have a Pearl X. Hmm. I could have sworn that the last ones that I... Oh, here's a purple. I do have a purple. I thought I did. But I'm going to take a little bit of pearl, uh, Perfect Pearls in purple. And I'm going to mix it with this pewter. Just going to take a little bit of the silver. You don't need much. Let me mix it on this. That's way too much. And 
let me see if I can mix this up a little bit. And it doesn't have to be totally mixed because I like the um, very variegated color. And let me just kind of brush this on. You've already got the sparkle from the opal clay, but this will add a little bit of color so that it's not black. And you can take a little bit of it and brush it on the on the wings. I don't want a lot. Went mostly on the edges, but I'm stuck my finger on this one. Let's see if I can get that off. I'll just blend it a little bit. And let me just take a little bit of this silver to go over the purple because I don't doesn't necessarily have to be really purple purple. I just want lots of different colors. There you go. So I am going to find a little container. I don't even think, I don't know, I might have some still up here to put this in so I don't lose it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to get rid of it. And I hate throwing away anything. I am probably the most frugal person in the world when it comes to my polymer clay supplies. Well, anything really, but especially my polymer clay supplies. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and bake it for, I'm going to bake it for an hour at 275 because it is primo. And I will be back and we'll see what we've got. Oh, I know one other thing I could tell you. Um, I know these straws, where did they go? Oh, I hate moving. I don't have any, can't find my straws, so I'm going to use some little wooden pieces and cut them into pieces. And I'm going to put this under the wings. to give it some dimension so it's not so flat. That's going to give it a much nicer look. And, of course, the wood can go in the oven. So there you go. So now it's got a little bit of dimension to it, which I like better than the flat look. So let me go ahead and put this in the oven, and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so here is my dragonfly. He's all done. Um... What I might do, and I recommend you do this too, and I I'm sorry for the glare, but the sun is coming in my window, and it's shining right on my work table. But anyway, I'm just going to take a nail file, an emery board, or a piece of sandpaper, whatever you have, and kind of getting the shaggies that I didn't get with my fingers in the little pieces of mylar that might be stuck on there.
but this can be, this is, I really like this one. This one turned out really well. This is my dragonfly, and I don't know if you can see with the, the sun shining on it. Let me try getting it out. Let me find something that I can block the sun with. I'm bound to have a book or something here. Let me try this. There, how's that? But can you see the pretty sparkle in the wings and the little tint of purple around the edges? And then there's the butter, the dragonfly itself. Now you can do so much with this. I'm going to put my book back. You know how it is when you're selling your house. you got to have everything put away. I'll be so glad to get into my new place. But anyway, you can take this, and like I said, you could put a piece of solid across it and put your name on it and use it for a name tag. You could put this on a pin back, put a pin back across here and use it as a pin. Um, if you wanted, you could put a hole in each wing and hang it from a chain and use it as a pendant. But I love my dragonfly. I think I may just tie a piece of beading line or something around his neck right there and just hang him up and let him just be pretty, because he is. So I hope you like that. Um, I'm trying my best to get my videos done. This is the only day this week that I have that I can do this. There's something going on every other day, and uh, I'm either showing the house or... I have appointments. I have a doctor's appointment. I had, I had my mammogram appointment. So all these fun things. But I really like this. That's the first time I've used this opal clay. And it does look like opals. It looks like he's got opal wings. But come back again soon for another polymer clay video. Bye-bye.